Yeah, I regret my actions. Lovely people on Facebook, really, isn't it? Everyone loves the judges. Oh, they do, yeah. <laughs> smoky and warm Austria. It's round two of the Drift Masters European Championship. I'm here at the start line. Top 32 practice has just kicked off. It's warm. It's going to be a wild day. We're going to take you behind the scenes of absolutely everything. This championship has just grown to a level that is unbelievable right now. Driving is insane. The speed is insane. We're in for a long day. I'm heading up to the commentary box to check on everything to get this show underway. So, up super high, as you can see, is where the judging tower and the commentary tower is. What's different about this event is, as opposed to Ireland, our voices, Ian and I, aren't to the public. We're just to the Red Bull TV broadcast. So there's a local commentator. Guess what he's wearing? <laughs> Judging Tower is. It's up quite high. The view for the judges is good. So I'm going to try and explain to you guys what all of this does. So this is a judges headsets. They have this is the scoring laptop. You can see all of the data going in there. As you can see from the telemetry, all of the angle, the speed, the zone, all that kind of stuff. They have these iPads. So you can see they basically swipe left and right. It's their screen for watching all of the runs. Behind there is this barrier. You can't see us. Well, Ian and I are kind of hitting away at the back. This is our little control center. So I sit here, I can see this screen. I don't actually see any real drifting. And this is what we do. So we have these buttons. I don't know if you guys can see it. This talks to the producer, director. We can turn down the atmosphere of the cars. We can turn off the sound from the director. This is for when I go live, I press the on air. It's a very, very slick setup, and uh, it's very warm in this tent today though, so it's about 30, 32, 33 degrees in here, so it's going to be warm to do three hours of commentary, but we're hyped and we're ready. It's time now to head to a production meeting to talk about the whole broadcast and what's going on for the rest of the day. Okay, so we just finished our production meeting, so we couldn't show you all the behind the scenes there. It's very loud here. The track is just beside us. So basically what a production meeting is, is going through the run through of the show. So every, you know, the intro, the graphics, replays, highlights from the last round, when we throw it to Becky, when it comes back to us, what we're expected to do, what the whole run time of the show is. And we have to run it to the minute, so everything is really, really precise. So we've got all that out of the way now. We know what the plan for today is, of course, it's drifting, anything can happen. There's like 70 people working on the broadcast, so it's very, very tricky to keep it all on track, especially with drifting being so unpredictable. So the next thing we're gonna do now is check out how the boys are going in practice, because this track is insane. First corner so fast, a lot of the drivers are struggling. So we're gonna to head to the start line. We're gonna show you guys how all the action has been going down in practice. So let's get there. Because everyone's attention span is only 10 seconds now, so 
trying to do that and just have a general sunburn. <laughs> I'm out on the track and now I find like a line that much. And I'm literally like this in there. Like if you look on the live streams, you might see me like balancing in the sun. You think uh, you, you should work for a new company that we're starting called Shade Hunters. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Shade I was Hunters. like, oh, Shade Hunters. So Becky is ready to go live in a little while. So Becky, what, you, you've got to look through all of your info here. So this is all your so, information. So this is all of the, what is going on. Here's my bracket so I can figure out what's going on. And now we're going to do a little rehearse and start the show because we need to give everyone a little recap of what happened last year at round one and two of Growing Back Austria. Hello everybody and welcome to the Driftmasters European Championship. I'm your host Becky Evans and Dave Egan is going to take it away. Back to you Dave. She makes, it, she makes it look so easy. She probably consider that as a job. She's she, she, she looks very professional at it. Me and Ian, you'll see later on, not so professional. Our friends at Link ECU are here representing. Best of the best, as you know, most of the drivers here are running Link ECU systems in the car. When the temperatures are so high like this, you need to make sure that your car is monitoring absolutely everything. And you can see a lot of the drivers doing data logging throughout the whole event, plugging in the laptops to the Link ECU, making sure that everything is running okay. You know it's super hot, they're making sure the cars are running. The Link is basically addressing all of those issues for them, or at least warning them before there's a major issue. Oh, very nice Porsche. Never know what you'll see in the paddock in Austria. Here's Kevin O'Connell in his natural habitat, checking out all the comments about everyone who hates the judging of Driftmasters. Sure, just the usual. They have lovely people on Facebook, really, isn't it? Everyone loves the judges. Oh, they do, yeah. They love them. Yeah, They're always yeah. with them all yeah. the time. Oh, every time. Every single call. Never had any pro anybody come back to You know, them. you don't get it as bad as so many people do, so it's No, fair. it's okay. It's all right. Mustache. Get away from the Tasha. What do you do? What do you do? What am I doing? I'm edits. I'm doing edits. That's exactly what I'm doing. So, how many edits are you going to do this weekend, Josh? 17. 17 edits. I, I guess that. Josh. What? Probably more than that. Is it? More than that. You're underselling yourself. I always undersell myself. It's very easy. Doesn't undersell the mustache, though. Oh, mustache. I need to diet again. Wait, I can see the small camera there. Yeah. Yeah. It's not great. It wasn't as good as the start of the weekend, but. No, I think the tan is outgrowing the mustache now. Nice. All right, guys, so we are at a break time before we go to top 32. So we have very, very exciting top 32. Some very big names going up against each other. But before we do, I want to uh, show you guys the tire wear at Driftmasters right now. So this is just outside the first and last corner. This is nuts. Just to give you an idea of that. There is about a thousand tires worth. So the team are having a tough time trying to keep obviously repainting the track, but also pushing and blowing all of that excess marbles and rubber off the track to make sure that the track is smooth for the drivers every run. So it's a real challenge this year with the Valino tires, obviously very sticky and they last about two laps. Think about it this way, it's about 320 euro for two laps of the track on tires for each driver on the grid, which is nuts. So it's getting to a crazy level of cost and a crazy level of competitiveness here at Driftmasters, but it's the best championship in the world in my opinion. So that's why everything is so extreme. Welcome to the mm. well, lunch. Mm. With the boys having some lunch before top 32. I'm going for a schnitzel. I don't need the schnitzel, I'm going for some schnitzel. What are you going for, Doug? Uh, it was schnitzel, rice, cranberry sauce, obviously. Why wouldn't you have cranberry sauce with pork and ketchup? <laughs> and carrot, maybe pumpkin. So rice, cranberry sauce, ketchup. That's a mix. Form of schnitzel. schnitzel. And Josh thinks this was pumpkin, but I think it might be carrot. There could have been a bit of translation difficulty. Between English and English. Top 32 will come eventually. We'll have to, I, I, the great thing about Top 32 is I don't have to spend any time with these guys. I just, all I've got to deal with is Ian, so it's not too bad. Are you going to throw in some of the corn stuff? So every uh, Driftmasters round, which most people don't know, I try and get something trendy topical in there that nobody makes any sense of so this weekend it's going to be from the Johnny Depp trial I'm going to say objection hearsay to something that Kevin O'Connell or Ian says I think that'd be quite funny private joke you probably won't get it and that your dog stepped on a bee and that my dog stepped on a bee stepped on a bee yeah like a dog stepped on a bee dog stepped on a bee what is that for someone going fast reference in here so that will make sense of this at the end <laughs> watch it confuse you right now and then we'll come straight up oh, I'm trying to think of a dog stepped on a bee which where, where, where would that come in? 
Well, he's off the line like a dog, step, dog stepping on a bee. What, the, if a dog steps on a bee out there, it'd roll over. And... It wouldn't roll over. Of course it would. It would run. It would, like, move quickly. Welcome to my entire existence here at Driftmasters. Let's have a dog. Okay, so business time for the weekend. We're ready to go live for top 32. Ian is ready. Ready? Ready, ready to rock and roll. Sorry, Dave. Shemek, let's talk to this rack. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Vernon, you ready? One ready, dude. Already. Run is never ready. Let's go. This will oh. be the best transition ever, right? You ready? We're going top 32. Very big off for Cherba. So, we are about to go live for top 16. This is the most stressful part. Uh, we're starting here at Benedicta's Cherba's car because Benedict's had a massive crash earlier on. Probably one of the worst crashes I've ever seen. <laughs> Bent. It's actually cracked the block on the engine, steering rack, everything absolutely destroyed. Thankfully though, he's okay, so he won't make it to his top 16 battle, obviously, but hopefully he can get a fix before Sweden in two weeks. He's an awesome guy, really nice guy, and he says it's going to be an expensive week, and he's probably going to be very sore tomorrow, but very, very lucky that he doesn't have any more uh, injuries, obvious injuries from it. Thankfully, the hands device and all of that stuff doing its job, but like... If this was a road car in an incident, this is a head-on crash at like 70 miles an hour. Not what you want to see, but hopefully the top 16, we don't see any more of it. But I'm excited for it. It's going to be some good battles. I think it's going to be some upsets. We're about to go live. You can see the camera operator is Becky. Uh, we're all going to kick the show off here. We've got our scripts. We've got everything we need to do. So, top 16 to the finish now. Put in as much adrenaline as I can, as much excitement as I can. Me and Ian are going to try and rock the crowd uh, here and at home, and uh, hope everybody enjoys it. Just finished the uh, top 16 introduction, about half a kilometer away from my commentary box. Top 16 has started with Ian. Time to jump into the tower and get this show underway. Well, at the beginning of the weekend, they said he hasn't got the experience. He may not have the pace, but definitely have the car. The Eurocross track just proved you can slip into the best of the best in Europe. Check this out. I want the real thing. To focus. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to end off the vlog for me? No, not really. I can just point it at Dave and. Okay, I'm going to end off the vlog. You, you, you introduce it. What do you want to say? Well, we've just finished the event. We filmed nothing at the end because we were too tired and we had to do loads of production meetings. And now we're heading to our favourite restaurant in the whole world. It's actually so good, it's named after so, Dave. Yeah. We've eaten in the same restaurant every single night of every single Austrian event and it's called Pizzeria David. The staff don't care. They don't, like us. they don't like us. They are annoyed that we don't understand their language. Um, it says Die Pizzeria on the front of it, which is always a, a classic marketing play. So we're going to get some pizzas, and then we're going to break down what was a very phenomenal day of drifting. Cheers, Cheers. boys. Cheers, boys. Cheers. 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 All right, so it's been a very, very long weekend. We've just had a few drinks to celebrate a very successful event for everybody. Everyone works super hard, very little sleep, um, long days in the heat. But uh, 
a good little reminder of a fun time that happened before, right over here, which looked a bit different about a year ago. England were playing in the European Cup Finals and one of the staff members uh, from the media team got a little bit too excited and uh, decided to, well, it's probably better if I show you. There it is, it's actually Indon. So every year from we, the chair leg. Yeah, so every year we just pay a little bit of homage to that man who lost his absolute mind watching the football <laughs> and, and maybe his job. Um, and want to say, you know, fun things happen behind the scenes at Driftmasters. That's why we keep the cameras rolling at every single event. This was a bit of a messy one because we have so many commitments, but I try to get as much footage for you guys as I could. I have no idea what you've done. You have no idea what I've done at this no. point. I have no idea. What I can't apologize or say how great it is because I have no idea. Now. And whatever this video became, I have no idea because I can't remember anything I filmed today. But hopefully it was a good taste of behind the scenes at Driftmasters. Awesome event. We're back to Sweden in two weeks. In the meantime, we're heading to Goodwood. Check out the Drift Games shop. we got a mega sale going on at the moment. And of course, tickets are on sale for the Drift Games Summer Bash July 2nd and 3rd. I'm absolutely wrecked. There's nothing left and I gotta get up in like four or five hours for a flight back to Ireland. So absolutely wrecked, but so worth it. Drift Masters is awesome. See you guys on the next one.